Hello everyone, this is DDOA, Divinely Dark of Age One. I want to let y'all know I have not dropped off the face of the earth. You will notice the American flag. If that triggers you, please don't subscribe to my channel. Get on, because it's not for you. Anyway, I um, want to say hi to everybody. Uh, I miss all y'all. miss playing my World of Warcraft. I know y'all seen my live streams and everything. Uh, but now, um, I don't have my my uh, laptop or a desktop right now I'm in the process of moving I got a good job had a lot of things going on here lately and I have a new baby on the way and uh, he or she is gonna be doing January it might be twins Ooh, what yeah anyway um, I'm starting a new series of vlogs and the first installation is going to be updated weekly and it's called DDOA Divinely Dark Retro Game Hunting. So, chill out, hang out with me, and learn how to make some money or build your collection in easy ways. I will be your guide. Here we go. I'm gonna make you die. And without further ado, folks, DDOA Divinely Dark Retro Game Hunting. First of all, um, I spent a total of $11 at one spot, $2 at the other. This is the $11 spot. It was a big storage building, a guy trying to get rid of a lot of stuff at a very cheap price. He was charging $1.50, wait no, he was charging a dollar for every single video game, no matter what system it was. He even had some Xbox 360s. I wasn't too interested in those, mostly sports titles. But, um, first off, we have, uh... Sonic the Hedgehog 2 for Game Gear. That game on PriceCharting.com, which is the one, the uh, website that I use because it takes the combined eBay prices over the past uh, six months to a year and it averages them together to give you an average price of what you can expect to get for it. So that gets about five bucks, and I've only spent 11, so I've made five back. All right. Now, uh, Land of Illusions, starring Mickey Mouse, also for Game Gear. This game fetches close to $10. Okay, so I've already made $15, so I'm already ahead $4. Next up, we have SOCOM, U.S. Navy SEALs Combined Assault. That sells for a couple of dollars, a few dollars. Fast and Furious, PlayStation 2, a few dollars. Big one of the truckers, that one sells for like 5 or $6. SRS Street Racing Syndicate sells for, I believe it was $4. I'm not going to go over exact figures right now. Uh, if y'all want a video later, uh, I can go ahead and do something like that. Uh, Stuntman Ignition, that goes about $5. Need for Speed Hot Pursuit 2, that one's around $4. Ridge Racer 4, that one's around $4. Then we have Midnight Club Street Racing. It is not considered complete because it has an aftermarket box from... GameStop. So that one right there is only going to fetch about $2 loose, but I only paid a dollar for each of them. I spent $11, so um, I'm looking, I'm definitely going to double my profits, which is no problem. It's a good start. Monster Jam, this game went for like like 7 or $8. No, about 8 something, I believe. All right, now that was my first stop. Now, moving forward, I go to this mini storage that they have people selling stuff from their units every week. And here's where I kind of ran into something a little bit better. Okay, for the Nintendo Wii, for a dollar, we've got The Sims 3. This goes for about five bucks. And this is the really good one. Obscure, the aftermath for the Nintendo Wii. Uh, it goes for around ten dollars and some change. So, we've got... 10, 15, 21, 23, 26, 39, 44. You know what? I'm just going to call it good, and I'm going to say for all this, um, I spent $13, and what I'm going to do is, most likely, I'm going to take it to Game Exchange. If I was to sell these individually on eBay, I'd probably make about $53. Uh, I really don't want to mess with it at this point. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take all these games, and I'm going to take them to Game Exchange in Nederland, Texas. 
because uh, they have game exchange all around the country. Uh, I highly recommend it because if your discs have scratch on it, scratches on them, then they will go ahead and um, pay you anyway because they can buff out the scratches and still resell them for a good value. So, uh, pretty much, that's what I got so far. Now, let's talk about uh, what you need to be looking for when you're buying used games. Okay, now, here's the deal. When you're looking for used games and you're buying stuff on a disc, the first thing you're going to need to check is, does it have the instruction book? Well, actually, first thing you need to check for is it scratch to hell and back. And you want to look out for scratches on the top of it because those top scratches can completely screw a game. There is no rebuff and no coming back from that, okay? So do not buy anything that, that has a, a slightly heavy looking scratch on the top of it. I don't have any examples of this to show you right now. But uh, however, I, I do have uh, some games with acceptable scratches like this one right here. I don't even know if you can really see any of it, but there is very light scratching on SOCOM US Navy SEALs combined assault. Um, at a dollar a piece, PlayStation 2 games, you pretty much can't go wrong because there's a little over, uh, let's see, I think there's 1,807 PS2 games because I've been doing my research because this guy, I've been talking to him for a couple weeks now, so... You know, you have to put in time and everything in order to be able to uh, find a good deal, for sure. But, anyway though, after that, you know, cartridges, Sonic 2, 5 bucks, can't go wrong. I mean, you look, you look inside here, I mean, it's good. I mean, if you see rust, or you see a freaking piece of metal hanging out, uh, you know, yeah, it's obvious. It takes common sense, people. Common freaking sense. That's all you need to do this. And for collectors, I got to tell you, um, stay on the Facebook marketplace. Because the thing you need to be looking for is people that have video games and they have no idea what they're worth. And believe it or not, most people have no clue what they're worth. Now, this guy... He, uh, he's got a lot of, uh, retro toys and stuff. Matter of fact, I got a, uh, $40 Superman action figure today for $10. Still sealed in box. I'm not selling that on eBay. That's for my wife, because she's a big fan of Superman. But, hey, um, I miss everybody. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please make sure, give it a thumbs up, like, hit that bell icon so you get notifications that next time I post one of these vlogs about the... Um, video game uh, bargaining. I'm going to do a thing on uh, haggling a good price and uh, ways to get your point across, stuff like that. I plan to open a whole vlog series and unlike my uh, video with 2018 plans, this is going down. It's happening right now. I'm investing weekly and I'm making money and building a collection, so it's great. Uh, smash that thumbs up, like, Share the videos, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Twitter, 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 whatever you got. USA all the way, baby. That's how we roll. DDOA, Retro Game Hunting, Part 1. Holla at y'all later.